In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to continue our look at the tools that are part of the Body Shaper package in PhotoDirector. To do that, you load your image as I have, and then click on the Guided tab at the top, the Guided button, and then we're going to expand the first category called People Beautifier and choose our Body Shaper. We're going to be on the first tab on the left, the one we've been focusing on. And then we have already looked at the forward warping tool. We want to look at the next two, the pucker tool and the bloat tool. Let me show you how we can use them. I'm going to zoom in on the gal here in particular. And we're going to try to make her look slimmer by using the pucker tool. You click on that on the left side. And then what will happen will be, you can control the size and strength by these two sliders, is the pixels inside the circle will move toward the plus symbol. So you can slightly take anything that looks like it's larger than you want it to be, and you can drag as you hold the button down as well. And so you can reduce the apparent area covered by the fabric in this particular case. And so you see we've changed it. Now you have to be careful, especially with patterns. Now this is a good pattern because it's a little ambiguous what it should look like. And so we can take it and change it simply by holding this down and using the pucker to make the area seem smaller. Then when we click on the pencil at the bottom and hold, it, hold the left mouse button down, we'll see the before. And I let go and we see the after. So in this case, it's made somewhat of a positive change. So that's what the pucker tool can do. Again, it works best on fabric or clothing that someone is wearing to give the appearance of a slightly smaller form. So that's the pucker tool. Now we're going to look at the bloat tool. We'll back out for a bit. The bloat tool is the next one, the third one in the order. Let's zoom back in on the guy this time. Okay. Now again, we don't want to bloat human skin normally. I could make his tummy look a little bigger here. <laughs> That's not very flattering. Uh, I could make his swimsuit look a little bit bigger by using the bloat tool. But basically, this is a tool that I won't use hardly at all. It's used in the fashion industry and elsewhere to get what I refer to as a Dolly Parton look on females. We're not going to do that in this tutorial. It shows you the principle on how to use that to expand what it looks like when someone is wearing something and you want to make the, the area look larger than it was originally. Let's look at the other two tools that we have at the top when we look at the tabs. Before I go to the tabs, one just one note. Remember, you can always use the selection brushes to brush out the areas that you don't want impacted by any of these tools that will protect some areas. Not so much with these tools as much as with the first tool. So I'll turn the mask off and we'll clear everything out. Now let's look at the other tools that we have at the top, the two tabs. Mesh is number one. Now when you click on this, you get a mesh on your picture. Let me back out to full size. And here it starts out with 5x5. Five five. You can go all the way up to 20x20. 20 20. And they don't have to be the same. You can go a 20x16 or any kind of variation that you'd like. Let's zoom in on this guy's arm. And what we're going to see now is if I move anything in this intersection here, we're going to turn off our magnifier here. When I ho hover the mouse over, it will move anything here up to the next line on either side, up, down, left, or right. So we're saying we can move things only, the implication is they only affect certain amount of areas. Here I, here I can lengthen his hand, or I can widen his hand, and that's not going to affect anything over here, but it will affect the adjacent squares in the mesh. So it's going to affect the, the way the surf looks here. If I make his hand a little bit longer, a little bit larger, I can move this one too, and it's going to affect his hand and uh, his swimwear. 
So there's some limitations you have on this one. It does confine the area that's distorted, but not in a way that I find super helpful. I like the, the next tool better. We'll clear that out. Let me show you why. The next tool is kind of what I call your uh, homemade mesh. It's your mini mesh. And what I'm going to do is try to lengthen his arm from the wrist down. So I'm going to click here. Anywhere you click, you're going to create a, a, a point. And here I can move it, but you know what I prefer to do? We'll clear that out. I prefer to, to do like a, a double layer because I say, okay, I don't want anything beyond this point to be impacted by it. We'll go down here. We'll set another one here. And now what I can do is I can move these two and that, that's going to make his hand longer. Maybe even one the third one here. Let's move this one. We're going to make his fingers longer and this one will make this part longer. I might even want another one over here that's not impacted. And we'll take his thumb and make his thumb longer. And so I've lengthened the lower part of his, of his arm by lengthening his hand because I've created my own mesh to do my own modifications. And so of the two options you have with the mesh, the standard one and the kind of build your own, I kind of like this one better. They both have issues. If you're not careful, you got to make sure you're watching to see what has changed all the way around the image you're distorting. It's something you can use on occasion, I think, that will give you a little more flexibility when you're looking at the body shaper tools in general. So that's a look at the body shapers. Now, when you're using the mesh, you do not have the opportunity to put a grid on to protect areas from not being edited. If you want to right click at any intersection point, it'll delete it. So you can remove them as fast as you want to modify them, add them, change them, do whatever you want. That finishes up our initial look at the body shaper tools in Photo Director 365.